Signing on television is a real challenge, not only for the BBC. There have been many attempts over the years to create artificial signings called avatars. Signing avatars potentially have a wide range of uses and can be used for anything, such as displaying public information, instantaneous English to BSL interpretation, and a whole mass of other things, both on television and online. In the past, there have been many attempts, and you may remember, back in 2000, Simon the Signer. Do you remember? Take a look at this. A few years later, Visicast had a project whereby they created Tessa, a signing avatar to be used in the post office. So if there was a communication breakdown with a deaf customer, they could watch Tessa sign. In the early days of creating these avatars, most of the feedback was negative. However, a French company, Mocap Lab, has been creating high level technology for the past 20 years which itself may have the potential to go on and achieve the first realistic signing avatar. We at Sea Here went over to Paris to take a sneak peek at what's going on. Mocap Lab is a small company dedicated to motion capture and it tries to push the boundaries of motion capture and we've been doing this for the last 20 years. We import movement from a signer and we put that onto a 3D character. The goal of Mocap Lab is to be good recorders, to record as well as possible, as fast as uh, with the best quality. Uh, but to do the avatar technology requires that you know sign language and you are a researcher in linguistic. We believe that what we do will be very helpful for people who want to do that. Amanda Everett has been assisting the Mocap Lab team with their continuing work and is the model on which their latest shoots have been based. I can see a lot of potential for this technology to take off in the future. One area is TV. Children's TV holds a world of possibilities. Maybe to have a dog character using sign language, not your typical animation, but capturing real sign language with the associated facial expressions and movements of the dog. Children will be drawn to that because it's all part of the learning process to model from observing real authentic sign language. The animated stuff we see on TV at the moment is fine, but if it incorporated sign language, that would be incredible. The whole process of transferring Amanda's movements onto an avatar takes nearly two months. But today, Mocap Lab have set up a mock shoot, especially for See Here, to demonstrate how their technology works. Okay, we put something like 50 markers on the body to some very specific points. I think it's extremely difficult to capture authentic sign language. I think if you're deaf and have grown up as a native signer, you naturally use intricate facial expressions to communicate. Non-signers use much less, but we use our whole bodies to express something. And that's what's really tricky to capture. With Amanda fitted with markers, 15 cameras are placed all around her to capture her every movement. So what's happening now is Amanda is on the stage and she's real and we're going to go into the virtual world and this is the screen of the motion capture system. Then we've got the screen with 15 little squares or rectangles. Each square is the view of one of the cameras on the, on, on the stage. And when we combine those 15 2D information from each camera uh, and we go in the 3D world, and if we zoom in, we see points and if Amanda moves her, her hand again, we can turn around and each point is really a trajectory in space. And that's for the body, if we zoom in and if we try to look at the mouth, we've got also small markers there. You see Amanda smiling. So then we get information from the, the lips. With everything in place, it's time for action. As such as the is the zero time. I live far away in Africa. 
I am known as the king of the jungle. Other animals approach, but when I roar, they all scatter. I have a beautiful mane and I am very handsome. What am I? That's right, a lion. Before I'd seen the outcome, I thought that, yeah, maybe the technology would capture the sign language in a way that's similar to others. But when I actually saw it, I was gobsmacked. We're not finished yet. There's still more collaborative work that needs to be done to perfect the technology. So the next step for Mocap Lab uh, is to improve, to keep on improving the technology. Uh, what we want to do then is to also work with people who do uh, TV series and, uh, and the other direction is to keep on working with researchers on sign language to create database of signs to work on uh, avatar technology. At the moment, my movements come directly from the sign, but step by step after recording a big number of sentences and words, it will become possible to start translating one word at a time. To date, there have been numerous examples of avatar technology that haven't been entirely realistic. I feel that we're now one step closer to that reality. Using actual sign language and exporting it onto a computer will be more appealing to people because it's real. <laughs> Technology is absolutely amazing, but it might be a while before it replaces me. Not just yet, anyway. We'll see what the future holds. So now, back to the production process.